Uh, we got a couple guillotine options with a uh, cow catching finish and then an uh, anaconda finish. So we're in butterfly guard. The hallmark of butterfly guard is a bunch of versions of it. Thanks, a little bit. Okay, so like uh, the big thing is I can't let Jay cap too much distance because then he'll weave his leg in and go to half guard, right? And I can't be like too jammed up because then I have no base. So you're gonna find this comfortable medium and I want my head below his head, but not so far down like this where you can just guillotine me or something terrible. Right? Just, just here, right hand party. Always doing drags first or punch sweep or two on one, whatever. So we're in here hand fighting on the inside, but Jake goes to the pressure pass, like a double under pass. He's gonna hop to the side and pass. All right, that's the pass he's looking for. We're gonna prevent that. Other than hip escape. So we're here, hand fighting again, he goes to pressure pass. Right, he goes on his chin strap. Doesn't matter your side. Okay, his head's over here, just take this side. Alright? His head's over here, take that side. Okay? So he pressure passes, I sit in, I can't camp here because I stay here and he goes hop. He hops, and of course I'm getting passed. And he's gonna like bond flu me or something terrible. Okay, mm -hmm. so I get a hand fighting, he goes down, I catch his chin, I'm just holding his chin, nothing weird, just his chin. This hand's gonna come inside the arm, and I'll show another angle, covering my hand up. And he's gonna jump to my side, so I need to lay to my side and throw my leg over before he gets there. Okay, so it's all simultaneous. The moment he goes down, I come in, go back. I go in, I'm gonna lay to my side, leg comes out, and I'm gonna start choking. I'm gonna get real tight. If his head, his hair is there, pop your head up, his head will come out, and he's in like a really good position to over under pass. Okay, so when I'm in here, with a high elbow guillotine, cover his head up, and you're gonna tap him, right? And he's gonna roll. Or he, when he rolls to get out of it, I never let go of the chin strap. And I'm just gonna go to the cow catcher, which is this right here. Alright, I'm just gonna cow catch, come up, I still have the chin strap. I'm gonna punch, go to the cross face, and then land here. Okay. The same thing, it's just gonna be like a reaction to him. Anytime you like pause, uh, he's just gonna go right to the next sweep. So we're here again, hand fighting. He goes, I go. Over the top, right? I'm gonna choke, choke, choke. He taps, fantastic. He rolls. As he rolls, I'm just gonna catch. Holding his chin strap, walking him up, take a side control. Okay, the next one, uh, side control. Mm -hmm. You're already in side control. Right, we're holding on to him, doing and you know, just teeing up with him, all the normal stuff. Okay, but he hip escapes on you. When he hip escapes, I want to keep my pressure on him, so I would never let him push me and just bring his legs in with nothing. So right when he pushes into me, I'm jumping for a chin strap again. Just one more time. Just here he pushes, chin strap, and I'm still pushing into him. I'm giving him pressure down, so it's not so easy to get up. Okay, he's looking for like an underhook single or something normal. Okay, here and I'm holding the hip to control his speed. And I'm gonna walk away from his head to give him plenty of room to come up. Because if I jam him up, he might switch. And I wanna make him think it's an escape, okay? So I'm here, and as he starts coming up, I just sneak my hand inside again. All right, so as he's coming up, there's no pressure on his neck. Right when he gets up, I step, come on, way up. I slide in, leg over the top, same thing. Choke, 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 he taps, fantastic. Or he's gonna suicide rule out. This time when he rolls through, I'm gonna catch his arm, tricep. Pull it down to the floor, like bring it. And sometimes, like if he's really fighting, you know, two hands are reinforced. You catch the momentum, you can swing it. But sometimes, two hands, you're gonna drag right across, make that rear choke the grip, and tighten it up. Walk, hook the leg, or jump to mount, right? And just squeeze in like an arm bar and get a tap. Last one. Again, hit the skate. Chin strap control. I walk away. He starts coming up. I'm in, slide in and tap him where he rolls. When he rolls, I'm catching right through the top and chasing. Okay, we'll do both really fast. It'll look like a series. Okay, we can do both. Um, just like back to back. We'll go guillotine to uh, cow catcher, hip escape, to we'll finish the anaconda. So here we go. Here, go. He rolls through, rolls through. Cow catcher, come up. He hip escapes again. On the inside. That's arm for you. Hip skip again. Chin strap. He comes up again. Go to the top. I'm going to tap him where he's going to roll. I'm going to catch. Walk in and get the finish.